it's Jennifer and today I'm coming at you hopefully with a fun video so I probably have said a little bit throughout some videos over the time about wedding plans or ideas or themes etc etc I probably have showed you some of these items I'm about to show you in previous shopping hauls but today's video if you can't um, tell what it is is wedding planning part one um, this is an actual video of me strictly talking about the wedding itself, really nothing else. And I will also take you guys outside in my front yard to show you guys a vision, sort of an idea, right? So ignore the way like I look, my house looks, I'm in pajamas, it's deep cleaning day. Um, anyways, moving forward. So, okay, wedding plans. We had a date picked out. Our date was going to be October 9th, which was a Saturday of 2021. We picked out that date before we moved in. Um, when we saw this house and we knew we were gonna buy it, we figured that the house would not need that much work. We knew the inside would, but not to the extent of what it did. Um, so we pushed it back, or I pushed it back till like March, which was last month. So I thought March was still um, a good time to get married. It wasn't cold, but it wasn't hot. And it's, you know, it's great for people up north or out of state who live in colder or snowy or weathers, you know, to get away. But it's still chilly enough to kind of not be like dripping in sweat. But anyways, then we pushed it back to June, which of June is right around the corner. So we probably will end up getting a different date. So with that note, we don't have a set date yet. Um, I know in one video I mentioned that Jim kind of wants to do the whole proposal thing and get a ring and all this other shit. But I will say, we don't really need all that. We just um, need to figure out what month, what time, what day, etc. Um, he kind of wants to get married in the summer, like July, um, like July, end of June, early July. But July is kind of getting into the hot months. And since where we live, it might be too humid and hot and sticky to kind of have a wedding in the summer. I'm not sure yet. I still like the idea of having it in October because it's not quite cold, cold and it's still a good weather but again or we could push it back to next year sometime that is in the works but i have all this stuff around me on the bed because i'm going to show you guys what i bought so far again this is where some of the items came in before in other shopping hauls but and then i'm going to take you outside like i said to show you guys the vision basically we're going to start off with some of these items so i have this big bin here behind me right it was not big it's little but this is everything i bought so far there's still a lot all right, so this little area here. So I bought these on, um, I will have everything linked below with the prices just in case anybody wants to know. But these right here. So I bought these. They say Jennifer, James and Jennifer, October 9, 2021. Um, I bought these off of Etsy. This is the person who I bought them from in case anybody wants to know. But they are gold. Now what I might do is I might take a gold uh, permanent marker and cross out the date and then write in the date with a fine tip pen. That might look um, really ghetto or really stupid or really white trashy. I kind of want to keep these stickers. I may or may not order more. I'm not sure. But these stickers go on these bags. Now, these are just clear standard bags. Um, they came in a box of 100. I got them off of Amazon. And I didn't mean to order 100. And I didn't mean to order that size. I mean, these are kind of like big bags. But see, you can kind of see the, the stickers will go on the bags. You know, it's like, thank yous. But I didn't mean to order that big of bags, but then I also thought that's a good idea. I didn't mean to order that many, just in case not 100 people come. But not everybody's going to want a bag. But we can always use plastic bags for the future for anything. But with that, to go in the bags, we have a party favor state. So I have these keys right here. 440 assorted keys. I'm not going to open them, but there's different keys in here. These are going to be tied on the handles here or just inside. I'm not sure. I ordered these hearts. Oh, the keys are from Etsy, but I ordered these hearts. I thought they were going to be bigger. They were off of Wish. They're not. They're tiny. I'm not sure where to put them yet. I put them in the favor area because I either might put them on the favor table or something. But I originally bought these because I wanted people to write on them and put them in that, um, what is that thing? That thing um, that people put things in. Yes, it's so like a card box, but not a card box. Anyways, so then I got these things, right? Um, these are just little boxes i'm not going to take them out but you know they fold them and they just fold up into little boxes and i was going to stick these these little stickers here oops they're upside down um to say hug and kisses from the new mr and mrs there's 324 in there i got these i think off of etsy i think i got these off of wish but 
Um, these, I was going to either stick on here, or I was going to put these on candy and then stick the candy in these. But either way, I'm not sure yet. But that's all of the side of the favors. Now, I do have two sets of chalkboard stuff. I have the, the sticker chalkboard stuff that comes with the pen, or I have the mini chalkboards that just look like this, and they have the backings. Um, I have these for, like, getting mason jars or like for drinks and stuff and writing on that for that and then these can go on the food and drink stations or just around with like little like cute little um theme notes i didn't tell you the theme yet but we'll get to there um my miscellaneous stuff so i have these really cool um mad hatter teaspoons one for me one for jim i have a hair piece here that i don't know if i'm going to use for the wedding i have these crystal what are they called bobby pin things i probably will use but i'm not sure yet but this is the miscellaneous area um then i have a couple of card things um i printed out this drunk bingo thing i'm not using this for the wedding it's just a uh, idea piece because i know there's wedding bingo but this kind of gives me an idea if i want to use bingo or if i want to use some of these squares from bingo or if i want to print out a wedding bingo thing but then i have these cards um they say bride and groom it's little advice cards and this is the back of it and then I also have these little vision cards. And both of these cards came off at of Etsy. You have to have your arrows. Again, now you can kind of figure out the theme. Um, so that's the arrows. And then for the cake, this is my most recent. Oh, that's from Etsy. This is my most recent purchase. You probably can't tell, but they're like little ladders. Um, I saw these off of Shin Shen and they were on a cake. And I have no idea where I'm going to use them. You just pop out the middle there and there are little ladders. They had them stand up on the cake. There's three of them in there. I don't know. Um, this thing here is a cake cup stand. See how it circles and it spins out kind of. And you have the little cupcake and the big cupcake stand or big cake stand, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I got that. I got this off of um, Wish.com. And it's actually a pretty thick, solid piece. Um, I don't know how it's going to hold up. But it does come with little sticky things or metal sticky things. Let's see if they're in here. Yeah, these, they're metal. So it looks pretty sturdy. And again, that was off of Wish. And then the cake toppers I got, which we may or may not use. I have your typical standard um, Mr. and Mrs., which is just a wooden carving. And you can paint it or you can leave the same. Either that's going to be a cake topper or that will just go somewhere. I'm not sure yet. I may not even use it. But this is my favorite one. There's a bunch of them with the silhouette. I just thought this one was really cool. It is plastic. These are both from Wish. But I just thought they were really cool. Um, but that's kind of the decorations. So let's go on with the theme and everything else. While I am reboxing everything up, let's um, talk about my theme. So the theme of the wedding... I might have mentioned this before like a thousand times but i'm still gonna mention it again is classic alice in wonderland or classic wonderland i chose classic wonderland because i didn't want typical just plain wonderland i didn't want alice in wonderland because that seems more kid friendly classic wonderland sounds like it's an actual upscale event you know like you should dress up it is semi-formal um it's so, so basically since it's a classic Wonderland theme, it's now a Wonderland theme. You have your main characters. Um, there are certain main characters that are going to have actual stations or areas at our wedding. And then there's like little tiny characters throughout the movie or the book that are going to be tied in somewhere. Like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. That's not really a main focal point character, but they are kind of funny. Tweedledum, Tweedledee, they might be the theme of the Soul and Pepper Shakers, you know. I might just you know buy salt and pepper shakers like some cheap ones or whatever or i might take the ones that we have and just write tweedledum tweedledee on them i don't know that's an idea um another idea while i'm not packing up is um let me all right so minus tweedledum tweedledee so basically you have alice is she's the main character obviously it's alice in wonderland but or alice through the looking glass alice on the wonder i don't know anyways Alice would be me, obviously, um, but I don't really know if I'm going to be Alice, per se. Moving forward, main characters, besides Alice, besides Alice, White Rabbit, Caterpillar, Mad Hatter, Queen of Hearts, Cheshire Cat, um, the Dormouse, the uh, March Hare, and the Duchess is kind of a questionable one. 
I will link below where I found these characters. I mean, you can Google them yourself, but why I picked these specific characters and what they represent and why these are the main characters that are going to have the main focal points of the wedding. Okay, I'll link that below. But so you have one big area when you have seven, six or seven mini stations, right? I say six or seven because you have your ceremony area and then you have your reception, which has the mini stations. I call them stations. I don't know, area stations. I call them stations. So basically, um, my vision, right? So when I go outside, it will make more sense. But I will tell you guys kind of a general idea. Um, we do know we're going to have open bar. Um, I do have a bar in my dining room. You probably have seen it if um, throughout my videos. Or if you guys follow me on TikTok, you might have seen the bar. But we have a bar that we're going to put outside. We're going to have an open bar. It's just easier for everybody. Don't feel like doing cash bar. Um, so whatever. I mean, if people want to bring their own alcohol, that'd be awesome. But you know, um, we do, th we do know we're going to have a buffet style, buffet style type of food, type of food, whether we either cater or we have somebody bringing it in for us. Uh, we do know we're going to have it at the house because that would be cheaper and easier as opposed to going to a venue, renting the venue, even though venues, they have pretty much everything kind of there. Like you, if you, let's say you get married at like the Hilton downtown, you know, they already have a restaurant there so they can cater and they can do everything else. And they have a banquet hall, but it's not personalized. You know, I want something that's personalized and memorable. And I thought our, I wanted to step in while I am editing this video, which I filmed like a while ago. Um, no offense to anybody who does have weddings at any type of uh, venue. I don't want to say that it's not personalized. I understand that they personalize to your own wedding needs or vision or whatever. It's just, I was trying to say that I'm not comfortable going into a blank slate of a banquet hall or anything. And I understand that's how you, why you get wedding planners, but I'm trying to do as much as possible on my own. Well, back to the video. All right. I am starting outside. So the wedding... Okay, we're gonna have this gate open, but my vision is there is our lake right there. If you guys can't see it, well, you know, there is a, um, let's see if I can walk up there, like a little fence area. Let me zoom in here, if I can here. So, do you see that fence area right there? That's where I'm gonna stick the mad hair, which is gonna have a sign that says, follow the white rabbit, and we're gonna have little rabbits little white rabbits that follow us to our entryway and then I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have like a big banner or an archway that says welcome to Wonderland but the Cheshire cat's going to be on the banner and then from the gate if you're looking at our house again ignore the yard I know it looks a little redneck white trashy right now but the tree the tree is going to have the Cheshire cat and the um, signs that you saw the little arrows on the tree then we have all of this yard right here, okay? So somewhere over here, we're gonna have a bouncy house. We're gonna have a tent with like food and drinks and the bar area. We might put the bar close to the house though, only because inside, outside. But either way, we're gonna have a bouncy house. We're gonna have a pool. Well, the pool's gonna go back there with the games. Now parking could be on this side or could be outside the gate. I'm not sure what. We might put the games on this side but as you're walking up so we're gonna have like a table or something here and this is gonna be the cocktail area right here minus the hole and the cocktail area is going to be the dormouse area which is basically kind of like the greeter of the party it's gonna have the signature drink to start off and it's gonna say like grab a drink but don't be late um, it's also gonna have the wedding favors if you want one if you don't and the card slash gift table type of thing. Um, so if you want to do the Mad Libs or the advice cards, you could stick them in the little box that I'm either going to make or buy on that table. But join in. So you, if you see this area over here with all of these trees, this is going to be the hookah lounge area inside these trees because I thought it's very shady. It's very perfect for a hookah lounge area back there. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the backyard right now, but that's going to be like the pool. I mean, eventually we're going to own a pool, but from this visual, so you have, you have the gate, you walk in, by the way, the, the, whatever this is, driveway, dirt road, whatever, is going to be lined with either 
uh, poster board that I'm going to, either poster boards I'm going to make, they're going to be playing cards, like the uh, guards of the Alice in Wonderland thing, or I'm going to line them with white roses that are dipped in red, or I have these very awesome stick thingies with fabric on them that I can line them with too. I'm not really sure yet. That's all in the works. But so if you're standing here where I'm at now, by the way, all of this is going to be gone. All of it. The fire pit, everything. The fire pit is going to be rebuilt, rebuilt somewhere else. I have a kitty right here. My kitties are like, what's going on? Anyways, so, so my idea is you have, you walk up through the thing, you have your cocktail, you get your cocktail, you see the signs, whatever. Then you come over here and we'll have chairs set up on this side. We'll have chairs set up on this side and you'll see the uh, ceremony type of space. So the ceremony space in my vision here, like I said, trash, ignore. Um, yeah, so it's not a very big porch, but we're definitely going to get, if we do decide to get married on the porch, which makes sense because it's raised up, a backdrop to cover the trailer. Not like cover the trailer, but just something that we can stand up so you can hide the trailer. So if people are taking videos or pictures of the ceremony, they're not seeing this tra trailer with like this. Obviously all this will be cleaned up. Or um, on top of that, I didn't mean or, on top of the backdrop, I'm going to stick an archway. Either I'm going to stick the archway on the, um, whatever that's called, or it's going to be on the other side of it, but full length, if that makes sense. So I'm either going to build it I'm either going to build the archway up from these or I'm going to put it right behind there and ignore the bubbles in my pool. I have no idea why I have bubbles in my pool, but the archway is going to have, I'm not sure what the archway, what archway is going to look like yet. I am kind of thinking white flowers with the road tips, red tips, because you painted the roses red, um, with a big clock at the top of it that has the time of the ceremony, but the, um, numbers are written backwards because obviously right so looking out from the deck so this is your deck so let's say you have you have your archway you and you have you know your backdrop which i would be standing probably at the backdrop because this is a good little area but then as you come down you have a yellow brick road yes that is right um one of the things i thought would be cool is to tie in other themes it's kind of like four themes in one wedding. Um, Alice in Wonderland meets Wizard of Oz, hence the Yellow Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road leads out to Wonderland, aka Oz, horse of a different color. You know, it's very, it goes in the same theme of like crazy ideas. Meets Willy Wonka because Wonka is kind of like Mad Hatter, top hat, you know, craziness. Plus they both drink tea. Willy Wonka eats the teacup, which is awesome. And then somehow never ending story got stuck in there. I have no idea why. I think Falcor, but all right so for those of you who are as confused as i am watching this back basically my theme of my wedding is strictly classic wonderland but i'm tying in other elements of great movies just because if you think about it wizard of oz and willy wonka are kind of almost that same fantasy type of feel and everything almost ties in together so it kind of makes no sense but it will makes sense as we go along in the wedding planning journey. So back to the video. Anyways, so right over here, if you guys could see, I'm going to zoom in here, that area right there. So behind that big tree with the birdhouse, um, this area is where I kind of want the hookah bar, but we definitely have to clean it up, but kind of over there somewhere, the hookah bar slash lounge area. But yeah, we have all the space to figure out what to do. That's my vision so far of what I kind of want to go for. Um, like I said, we still have to set a date. This is just part one video of what, an idea of what I would like to do. Um, we have pretty much almost everything kind of picked out. Once we get to the party rental place, which by the way, um, I did print out a party planning sheet that makes sense of the company I want to, to possibly try out. Um, it's L and L tent and party rentals. And this just gives us a vision idea of cost and everything that we could either rent or buy of unnecessary things or good things. Um, things that I would never have even thought of. Like if you want like a turkey fryer, I mean, obviously it's a, 
catering or party rental place. So obviously they're going to have weird stuff. But some things I didn't even think of, like a, a, a espresso station. Like, you can rent an espresso station. I'm like, that's so cool. Beyond that, okay, um, hookah bar. So the hookah bar station, um, I've never tried a hookah before. Um, so I'm very curious. I've always kind of wanted to. I have no idea why. I never wanted to when I was little because I was associated with smoking cigarettes but as the years um went on I figured out that it's not you're not inhaling it you're just kind of like sucking it in and blowing it out so you get the flavor but not the smoke if that makes any sense I've never tried a hookah but that's the way it was explained to me so if somebody has tried a hookah you can explain that to me but anyways so basically let me set my camera down here okay so basically I don't know if I can't okay um okay hookah bar um, there's a place in Wilmington called Juggling Gypsy that I really want to try out. We're going to go there on a date night eventually. I don't know when, but I want to try that out first because they rent hookahs out. Now, I don't know if we're going to buy a hookah. We probably will end up buying a hookah and keeping it forever. Um, but that's why I want to try it first to see if I like it. But you can rent a hookah and you have the option of hiring somebody to come with you to the event to kind of explain what a hookah is, what the flavors are, how to how to use it, why the hookah started, everything else. But the reason why I want to go also, not only to try it, is because they will explain everything. And yes, I could watch tutorials and YouTube and everything, but I'd rather have somebody explain it to me and then kind of do my own spin on it. I will probably um, take some kind of like fancy paper or something um, with like a caterpillar on them, like get caterpillar, what is it called? Caterpillar stationary. That's it. Caterpillar stationary and write like the hookah bar rule, like not rules, um, how to use the flavors that we have, etc., etc. With that, I'm going to have a drink, a signature drink at that station area station, whatever. So I just have to figure that out. Um, yes, we are having an open bar, but yes, we are having a few signature drinks because of the theme. Um, the table, like I said, will have a signature drink on it. I don't know if it's gonna be, it probably might be a non-alcoholic one, so you can mix whatever alcohol you want into it. It's probably gonna be something like, to start like a lemonade, something easy that everybody will like, not something really off the wall, like a lavender blueberry tea or something. You know, I don't know yet, but I had to figure out the signature drinks. My idea was to, um, get four different big picture pitchers, uh, drink pictures, like the ones with the little spouts, like the mason jar pitchers, and put three of them with signature drinks, and then one with just all filled with bubbles, or like bubble stuff, so like we can always blow bubbles. I might actually get a bubble maker and have a, another signature drink. I might have one signature drink with alcohol and then three others without. I'm not really sure about that yet, but this is another reason why I'm making this video. Um, I like the bubble idea, but then I'm thinking a bubble maker might be a lot easier because everybody loves bubbles. But amongst the favors, that's another thing. There's a lot of things we still have to buy, a lot of things we still have to get. Um, like I said, with the party thing that gives us a price plan because we don't know if we're going to rent or buy a tent. Yes, we will need a tent because if inclement weather happens, we will need something to stand under. Um, so there's that. Um, tents though, the reason why I say we'll probably end up renting one and not buying one, not only because they're expensive, it's because we really don't have the room to store a tent, but we can always buy another tent in the future or a tent in the future. However, if we go ahead and buy one, we're saving money and we will always have it, but again, we don't have the room to, to store it yet. We don't know. Um, this just, I cannot wait to, to go to here and find out. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like the vision of where I'm going. I have literally all of these papers of, of like, look at this. I, I don't even think you guys, like, this is how my brain works with all of my arrows and, like, everything. If you guys can even read that, I'll give it, I'll give you guys a few minutes to kind of look that over. But it's, like, I don't even know how people, like, this is why I don't want to hire a party planner because and do it myself because, like, there's no way that, you could take this and, and be able to figure it out. Like all of this stuff. I mean, I write it out the way I see it, but that's why I kind of took you guys around the yard to visualize it. And that's another thing. I don't know if we want to hire a party or planner or not. I'm a very do it yourself bridezilla. 
basically meaning that anything that I can do myself to save us money, I will. There are certain things you will spend money on. Alcohol, food, dress. I think that's about it. Alcohol, food, and dress. Why did I put alcohol first? I should have put the dress first. Yeah. But I am going, um, I am talking to Jim about all of these plans. Uh, there's little things that I'm sure he doesn't need to know, but I talked it over with him. Like, okay, what bridesmaids dresses should I have? If I want bridesmaids, if they, if I want to carry a bouquet or not, you know, little things like that. Um, there are some things that we are going to keep traditional. Like I personally don't care for a wedding cake per se. A giant cupcake is just fine, but I do understand the tradition aspect like if you get like a big giant cupcake which is basically a mini cake i mean let's face it it's a mini cake yeah i had to interrupt myself again while editing this because i'm like sitting there like explaining a cupcake is a mini cake it's like seriously it's a cupcake i i yeah back to the video you don't need a big cake you just need a little cake for the bride and groom that's it and then everybody else can have like cupcakes and stuff right we will figure that out later. Um, once we figure out, okay, first thing we're going to do is go to the party planner or the party rental place and get an idea of a price point. That's the first thing. Once we get the idea of the price point, then I we can go cake tasting, cake tasting, um, and everything else. There's also things that you can rent a food truck. I really don't want a food truck down here because it is kind of far. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I might end up cooking some of the food or making some of the dessert. All right, since I have no idea where I left off because I was distracted, then my camera died. Let's do the outro. All right, so thoughts, comments, concerns, advice, best wishes, or congratulations, you can leave those below, please. If you did like this video, hit that big thumbs up for me, please. Or if you don't like this video, hit the down button. Don't hit the down button, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on TikTok, Follow me on Instagram now that my Instagram is back up and running and I can actually post things on there again. Um, I will be keeping up an update on the wedding stuff as I have been. Um, other than that, you guys stay positive and awesome.